a lot of relief too for us here you know because uh you know, the effort they have done they put their lives on the hold that's that's what they do you know uh everything revolves around football and they come out of full head and they give us come up and the start of the year to do whatever it takes you know and they did whatever it took and you know thankfully it was enough for us you know as this program said it didn't it wasn't exactly in a straight line but uh but we got there at the end of you know and uh, it's just it's, it's just good to be here you know at, at this stage uh, and it's, Probably in the next few days, like the at home, what it means, you know. Brian, you took over, uh, you took over the team that had been there and about for a couple of years, always in around the, the last four. But did you think that you might have to wait a year or two to, to reach this level? Well, you know, to be honest, why? I suppose everybody has different opinions, but the question I would say, why do you have to wait a year or two? You know, and there's no other management any different, you know. You get you only have one chance at it. You make the most of it wherever you can, and you know, and things do go right with it. But let's face it, with the rubber of the green at times, and we needed it. You know, like particularly the semi-final, uh, we think we used up a right bit of luck. But and today too, we used up a right bit of it. But you know, but the way we look at how the players is, you don't wait until tomorrow. You know, do what you can today, and don't put off on anything that you can do today. And you know, them boys did that, and you never know. You might never be back again in the Ireland final. You, know, you have to grasp that opportunity whenever it comes. It, it's very lucky and very fortunate that you get to the final and whenever you get there you have to give everything you have. And you know, today there's some boys who just they put their bodies in the lane and, and they don't. Right, um, where did you turn the game except for you think you just got on top where did you kind of hit your foot on? Oh, the, the game was, you know, it was probably chaotic and they won good description of it because Probably the turning point is the goal, their penalty. You know, once they missed the penalty, it was great. You know, it just gave us a wee bit of boost that we needed. And you know, when we were looking at the goal, Cahill's goal was probably the one that put the wee bit of difference. That separation, we managed to keep that, we managed to chip it on. You know, we struggled to get the ball on early at the start and hold on to it. You know, whenever Cahill came on and Dara came on, they added that wee bit extra. That wee bit, you know, and we started, once the ball in there, we were getting scores a bit better. You know, but up to that, we were chipping away at scores, but the big problem was we were, we were getting away a lot of freeze, a lot of score freeze. That was probably the most disappointing part of it. You know, with men and just some silly freeze we're giving away. Your uh, your expert your expectation of the long the long kick out uh, really really paid dividends. Two midfielders uh, really played well yeah. for what they have been all season. Yeah. They were really they, they, in dark earth. Brian Kennedy had like to me an exceptional performance there. We knew that was on him. Just took a long time to come. But we knew it was there and he was probably carrying injuries into a lot of other games, to be fair to him. But Brian Kennedy and Colin Kapadik, you know, they stood up they stood up today and they showed that they're proper inter county midfielders and as good as anybody out there. And you know, and we needed them today, but they caught ball, they fought for everything and you know they put on a tremendous shift. That's part of your plan to leave them really, you know, to try and work off with the coaches on the ball. Like we tried we we're trying to get the ball as long as possible, you know. Uh, to them two men and give them an opportunity in the air. You know, because we know they're good in there. And you had Connor McKenna on the background too, you know, which he didn't get away with him today a few times, but he was very close to pulling a few moves off, you know, so them things with some days they work, sometimes they don't. But the two midfielders today, you know, you have to hats off to them. They put on they put on a shift. You know, and that was Brian Kennedy with a yellow card in the first five or ten minutes. Well the uh making five five to know you heard it things out of the Ball margins we've seen that again today. Obviously, Rooney blocked on the first half. He didn't intercept the penalty going wide. As I said, I know the match obviously they'll be a dissection of where it went from for Rooney. Start where it went from from the Yeah. Yeah. In the immortal words of Cody O'Shea, a grain of rice tips a balance. That's what you live or die by in football, and you can be very sore as a manager when you go home and that grain of rice has gone against you. So. You know, it was small margins, but probably the goals set us up. Goals win matches, and we were lucky to get them, and they worked. And you know, our midfield was outstanding, as Brian says. We knew they were good footballers. It's hard to see that sometimes, you know, but we are seeing them every night. 
and uh, you know it just were our kickouts the last day there was a lot of scrutiny of that against Kerry so our kickouts today and Niall Morgan's an exceptional goalkeeper and uh, you know catch and flick on to whatever of course the further up the field you are the closer you are to the net and if you don't get up to the goal line how do you cross it so you got to get to it well, it probably does, in truth, Francie. Uh, you know, there's no getting away from the fact that 95 was a very, very painful day for Tyrone, and and in particular for the lads, the 95 lads who I ran with in the day and still would run with, and I, I'm. I'm I took all their names on my phone here. I'd love to give them all a shout here. I'd love them printed tomorrow to say, listen lads, that's one that got away and we partly redeemed it. We didn't redeem it as players, but it was in my mind anyway, that's a somewhat of a redemption. Yeah, a couple of players that have lost out since the Ulster time, Rocky Donnie and stuff, I wish I'm not sure what the final was, so the Terry Ulster, they played their part in the game and all. Various things have caused men in and out of the group. We made some tough decisions on Wednesday evening, Thursday morning, dealing with players, some outstanding footballers, Richie, uh, Rory Brennan, uh, Roni O'Neill, you so could name them all, guys. They've all done their bit out there and they've done their bit for Tyrone. But, you know, you have 26 to pick and 26 to play, and that's probably the worst part of this gig here. We had a great night, ironically, but and you know with Killarney and all the rest. But it was just a six-goal mauling, and that stripped everybody bare. And myself and Brian, and as you know, you you, you know you're as good as your last result and as good as your next one. So that was June the twelfth. It feels as though that was a year ago at this stage, but it was a lesson in football and aggression and cuts and how to score goals and, and we were everywhere all over the shop and people were entitled to say you know, what the heck's going on in Tyrone there but we're lucky it was National League semi-final because the cutthroat championship this year you'd have been up the road and we could have been up the road with it so listen we're lucky there was a new shot at it with Cavan then Donegal then Monaghan and then Kerry and then today so listen we knew it wasn't the end of the world but it wasn't a pretty bus journey home the next day If you enjoyed this piece of content, please follow us on YouTube by hitting the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of the page, which helps the channel grow. And if you want audio podcasts, go to patreon.com forward slash our game.